Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So as I'm sitting in my girlfriend's vehicle, I can tell it's already dirty again. And we're going to have to take care, of course, of the interior just as much as the exterior. But if we look at this center console, so it can seem intimidating, right? You have a bunch of different surfaces and textures. For example, you have things like your infotainment display. You have a bunch of buttons. You have your air vents. You have gloss black trim, some more displays, more buttons. You have matte surfaces. Of course, you have the uh, gear shifter. It can be sometimes wrapped in uh, vinyl or leather like it is here. Uh, then you have these other like kind of satin appearances, different plastics. Once again, you have plastics on the side. And so one would wonder, how do you attack all of this, right? Although it can seem overwhelming, I'm going to show you the easy and simple way. Welcome to another video, by the way. Um, I'm going to leave all the links to the tools, products, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Also, this is uh, not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I'm just sharing my tips and tricks as I normally would. So the simple tools and products, you're going to find some very cool things today. First of all, we're going to need an interior cleaner. So I had a full review of this done already. This is PNS Express Interior Cleaner. This is good on all surfaces, vinyl, leather, plastics, uh, anything you can think of. I wouldn't recommend this on uh, entertainment or infotainment displays, however, or navigation screens, but you can dilute this up to one to one with water and is very economical. And I absolutely love this. This has no protection in it. However, we're looking something that's going to clean, right? The uh, next product that I have, you're going to need very few tools and products, by the way, this one here is the Gion interior detailer. This product is alcohol based, and this is what I use for the gloss black trim and also infotainment displays. It removes smudges, does some light sanitation and just works very very, very efficiently. Next thing uh, is some detailing brushes. These are very, very soft tips and they're ultra soft, so they won't scratch any surface. These are from the Detail Factory. You can get them in the large format or in a short format and also in different colors. And then a few microfiber towels and also something very important, this here. This is a cleaning gel and you're going to see why we're going to use this. And let me start with this right now. So this cleaning gel here, allows you to go into intricate areas such as your air vents and your more sensitive areas like your infotainment displays. And the purpose of this is to remove any dust before you're actually using the brushes for the rest. Because yes, brushes, even on delicate surfaces like your gloss black trim, could potentially do some micro marring. So to avoid that, you're going to want to pick up any dirt, grime and dust, any loose debris before you go ahead and use the microfiber towels and brushes and your products, right? So some professional detailers can use some compressed air. So if you do have a, a little air compressor gun and an air compressor, you can blow out all the uh, nooks and crannies and the air vents themselves and blow the uh, dust out that way. Uh, some others also like to use uh, a steam cleaner just like this one. So you can blow things out. Just be very careful when using steam because although it's steam, it's still, uh, well, hot water. You don't want to inject that in the back of your buttons. Now, don't get overstressed. The majority of the car manufacturers know that even in winter months, sometimes when it's raining outside, you have your gloves or whatnot on your hands, you might have a bit of water and you're still touching your buttons and interfaces. You won't damage anything, but you don't want to oversaturate uh, with different products. So today I'm showing you this more simple approach. So with this cleaning mass, what we're going to do is you take it out. And as you can tell, it is very, very pliable and you just roll it over the surface. Don't worry about any smudges yet, because don't forget, we're going to be cleaning this. So you go over your surfaces just like that. So it picks up all that dirt and debris. And the cool thing, it molds itself to whatever surface you're rolling it onto. So look at these air vents here. Hopefully you guys can tell on camera what's going on. So you're going deep inside the vents. Look at that. See that here? It molds perfectly and you roll it back and forth. And this cleaning mass just picks up just like that, all the dirt, the grime and the dust. So you go over your surfaces just like so. You can do the same on this here. So this does your cleaning duties and goes deep inside the nooks and crannies. See here, this button here, it already cleaned everything inside where the parking brake is, just went in there. So you're picking all of that up in just a few seconds. 
So again, <laughs> this is light work. What we're doing here is trying to make everything super efficient. I also have a full interior detailing tutorial if you want to do a deep dive on every single interior surface. But as you can tell here, this picked up the majority of the stuff. I absolutely love this. So now that we removed the loose dirt debris and the dust, we're left already with a pretty decent result. By the way, to store this, it's very simple. There's nothing to do. Just keep it in a cool place, put it back in its original container. And as long as it doesn't look too dirty or doesn't become too sticky, it's still good to go. You close that container back. There are many different ones like this, but again, this is a universal dust cleaner, or they call this a cleaning gel or a cleaning mass. Now is the time that we're going to take our detailing brushes and you're going to take your interior cleaner. You can use uh, a, uh, an interior quick detailer. You can use whatever you want that's made for the interior. Just make sure you use products that are safe on the surfaces. So instead of spraying directly on the surface, now we want, again, don't forget, we don't want to oversaturate behind the buttons and potentially cause any issues. So we're going to spray directly into the head of the brush itself. What I like about PNS Express interior cleaner is that you can apply this and it's going to do a gentle lather. So you go ahead, do the buttons here. Don't worry, because this is more a very, very light foam and you're not over saturating the surface, but what it gives you is a nice appearance. We're going to leave the infotainment displays and this display for the other product itself, but don't be shy, go in there, start scrubbing. There's always some parts that you can remove, by the way, that this little mat here, that's rubberized. Let me grab that. So if you can remove that and then scrub it separately, right? This is what we're doing here. So this is a, now I'm talking on camera, but if I were to do this in real time, in a matter of what, under five minutes, I would be done with the uh, entire surfaces here because all you're doing is some light, light agitation. This works for, of course, dirty interiors, light interiors. That's what I like about the PNS Express. Uh, I like to use it undiluted, but you can dilute it 50-50 uh, in water if you want to. So again, we spray some more cleaner in the head and just go here. This is a very, very light and soft brush from the Detail Factory. You can use color coordinated stuff, right? If you want. So I like to use the green ones for the interior. You can use whatever color code you want because they make them in a bunch of different colors and sizes as well. Again here, look at this. So you pull this rubber insert, you can go inside, right? What we're doing here is a thorough job of getting into all the nooks and crannies. And don't be shy, once again, same thing here for this little portion. And as you can tell, this is super simple. PNS Express, by the way, seems very nice. It smells nice. It won't alter the look or finish. It just gives a nice satin appearance, that OEM factory fresh look that we all like. Don't forget to go behind there. You want to get that clean. All right. And now we're going to mop up this stuff with a microfiber towel. So for me, the uh, Rag Company Edgeless 300 towels, they're amazing for interior use. They're a good quality. I like to coordinate the color here. So a yellowish kind of product for the PNS Express and a yellow towel. Let me know, by the way, in the comment section, if you guys also like to color code your towels for different uses. So now we're simply mopping up, picking up all of that. The rest will evaporate. So don't worry, don't overthink the moment, by the way. You're just doing a general wipe here. So again, to remove the excess moisture, we're going around. This is very, very easy to do, as you can tell. And we're already half the way there. So detailing should always be fun. You guys should go out there and enjoy taking care of your vehicles. I don't know about you, but for me, driving a clean vehicle always feels so much better, right? And so here you go, you get into the nooks and crannies, you do all the buttons, all the sides. Again, whatever is left will evaporate. This is some more dryish type foam at this point, if that makes any sense. So do all that wipe up. Hopefully you can tell on camera, look how great this already looks, right? 
So get into the air vents. Pick as much as you can up and the rest will evaporate once again. So this looks beautiful. So now let's wipe these inserts. The majority of the vehicles nowadays have this kind of stuff where you can remove those inserts. Look at how nice this came out. This looks awesome. So you put those back, same thing here. Do a wipe, get that clean. Has that factory fresh appearance now. There you go, you can wipe that. Now let's attack the infotainment display. So we're gonna take our next product. This is Gion Interior Detailer. This is an alcohol-based interior detailer. You can do all the surfaces later in your car, vinyl, leather, plastics, but I especially love this on your gloss black or that piano black trim, the glossy plastics, right? Uh, and also infotainment displays because it won't damage or hurt them. So this one here again, you get edgeless 300 towel by the rag company. Just spray a bit on your towel. And now we are going to wipe the surface. Look at that. So this is the easiest product to use because it flashes quickly. It doesn't leave any residue behind. It lightly sanitizes the surface as well. So do your initial wipe like so. Go around your buttons, your gloss black trim. As you guys can tell here, there you go. It leaves no smudges. Flip your towel to the clean and dry side. See how all the finger marks went away in just a quick wipe. And that's how it should be. This shouldn't be tedious. Use the right products, the right tools, use them correctly, and you should be very happy. Okay, there we go. If you want to do a quick once over, because it does some light sanitation duties, you can for the rest of the console itself. And there you are, guys. There you have it. This is how simple that was. So we picked all the dust and the dirt and the loose debris with our interior cleaning gel. There are some scratches in her plastic, so don't mind that. She's not as careful of, as Pan the organizer <laughs> in her vehicle. So look at that. I hope you can tell no more smudges on the screen. All the black trim, the gloss black piano is amazing. No more dust inside these air vents. Hopefully it translates well on camera. All the matte plastics have a beautiful appearance now. All the dust, grime, dirt has been removed. All the touch points as well have been sanitized, so we're not worrying about that. Now at this point on these surfaces, you can choose to put an interior protection. So. One I tested recently that works quite well. This is a ceramic coating for your interior. So you can apply this pretty much on all your interior surfaces. Again, your leathers, your vinyl, your plastics, your rubber, any trim that you have and all that kind of stuff. So it's ready to use. You just spray on your towel, wipe it in, buff off, and that is it. So you have a long lasting protection. It works quite well. It does not alter the look or feel of your surfaces. So that I like has UV protection built in, just like the other two that I will show you. Some other classics. Uh, that are a bit less expensive for those who are budget conscient uh, are the 303 interior protectant. So UV protection is going to help to prevent fading and cracking. This one here also claims it has some anti-static properties so repels dust, lint, and staining as well. It dries to the touch. So none of these leave a greasy, oily interior, which is what we do not want, right? For your safety, you don't want the light to bounce off and to blind you while you're driving. And we like that OEM crisp appearance. Just look at this beautiful center stack now. Uh, and last but not least for your protection, you can apply something like CarPro Pearl. This is a water-based silicon oxide coat. This can be used diluted one-to-one -one for tires or neat, so undiluted on your tires, uh, diluted one-to-three for your exterior plastics, and like I have here, a one-to-five dilution, so one part of product to five parts of water for use on your interior surfaces. Uh, this one here will last a few weeks to a few months, of, again, depending on your maintenance, where you live. Uh, it has UV protection as well. It has that nice satin finish appearance and like anything CarPro makes, they're pretty, pretty awesome. So up to you now to decide if you want to leave uh, your things unprotected. But of course, I highly recommend that you do apply uh, some protection in your vehicle. So you have this choice here. Again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, a short, uh, but a good one, I hope. 
all the links to the tools and products will be linked in the description under the video before uh, below so you see how simple this was smash the thumbs up button to show me your support also share this video with friends and family that can benefit from this type of information and uh, yeah once again look at this beautiful final result so guys thanks for being there thanks for watching and in the meantime don't forget keep it tight keep it clean and i'll see you on the next one